Hey guys, we are going to keep the travel content rolling this week. If you guys caught my last video, I unboxed some new carry-on suitcases and personal item duffels. But today's video, we are going to focus specifically on all the travel organizational products. All the stuff that keeps all my things organized, like the innards inside the suitcases. I got some low-end and high-end stuff. I hope you guys enjoy, as always, everything mentioned in today's video. Down below in the description box for you guys to check out. On that note, let's get started. Organizational favorite number one. I literally do not travel without these. These are the Cadence Leak Proof Travel Capsules. I've actually featured these on the channel before in another pack with me. I have the original bestseller set that I've been using for a while, but they re-released their entire line with three different sizes. I had to get in there and try them out. These are leak proof, completely magnetic, customizable, refillable travel capsules. What is so great is that you can literally bring your entire skincare set. You can find different sizes and portions so that you can completely customize the quantity that you need to match your trip. They have these little poppable tiles that come out and you can label everything really efficiently. Everything is also magnetic, so even like the lids, they'll stay secure to the tops. And then the hexagon shape is just really modular and just so functional, futuristic, and beautiful. So when I bought my first set, they only had this original size, which I still love and I still use. It's more vertical, almost like a column shape. These hold 0.56 fluid ounces. So again, you're really limited to the volume that you wanna bring on a trip. So what they did was they have this new shallow flat capsule. This new flat disc shape is so functional because you can stack like your entire skincare routine, all of them perfectly stacked. This is definitely my most used size and shape, but if this is too small for you, if you have a longer trip, or again, you have higher quantity, I would go with the 132s. This is 1.32 fluid ounces. However, if this is also not big enough, you can do the extender. And the extender is basically this hollow tube that you can literally just screw on. So now you have a three fluid ounce container, which is still TSA compliant. So the great thing about this new system is that between the shorties, the 56s, the extender or the 132s, all of the caps are interchangeable. So you can cap off your extender. You can also cap off the 56. All of these are the same circumference. You just have the different height to differentiate the capacity. I know that they don't go fully interchangeable with the original bestsellers, but I kind of mix and match depending on what I need. Sometimes I need something just for rings, I can use this. These are also great for pills. Anytime I bring these along when I travel, everyone's like, dude, what is that? That is so cool. Total game changer. And speaking of game changers, a quick word from today's sponsor. If you've never heard of NAY, they make premium essentials from lingerie, loungewear to activewear. They make some of my favorite bras and pajamas. I've been wearing their products since I was postpartum until now and I think the best part about their stuff is that the premium quality of the fabric is so buttery soft and all the styles are really made to be focused on comfort and be made to live in so I've got some new arrivals to show you the first is the latest update to their famous barely zero bra this is an adaptive sized bra that can fit a wide range of sizes again I wore this bra when I was like pregnant so this is such a cool wireless bra that's so comfortable it can stretch and grow with you this latest design has has a new lower neckline. You also have fixed molded cups. By the way, I love the cups because they give you great shape, full nipple modesty. And they updated the cloud fit fabric to have cooling and antibacterial properties in it. Super seamless, doesn't dig in, and it doesn't show lines. The second bra I have is the nude shape mesh bra. This one is gorgeous. It's a soft, flexible spandex blend bra. The sheer overlay of mesh makes it super romantic, but also light and breathable, great for the hot weather. And then that nice deep V plunge style gives you a lot of options for the neckline. And last but not least, again, my favorite pajama sets come from Naywai, and this set is gorgeous because it's a silk modal blend. I have the classic pajama top that's buttoned down. You have French lapels, a cute little shirt pocket, and then for the pants, you have an elasticized waistband, a nice crop style, and then a finished cuffed hem detail at the bottom. I love their sets because they're so chic, like you're at a five-star hotel. I own several of their cotton blend pajama sets, but this one is very nice because the 
pencil silk blend it makes it ultra buttery and luxe but also eco-conscious too so if you guys are interested in trying out Nay whether it's the bras or the pajamas I've got a link for you guys to get some savings in your next order down below and I also have links to all my favorites for you guys to check out be sure to click up in the description box and let's get back to the video okay moving on to our next set of products is all gonna be from the same brand truffle I am such a loyalist to truffle I love their products they recently launched a couple of new things that I am like Oh. Basically, Truffle is really known for their quality. They have this awesome see-through PVC lining that you can see a lot of their products, and then everything is lined in either nylon or a premium Safiano leather, which is my preference. So the one product that I never travel without, and it's probably my favorite product to the point where I bought their original version. I was an early adopter of that, and then they re-released it in a better design, and this one is just so much better. So this is their Jumbo Jet Set case this is what I use for my makeup in particular this is the perfect makeup case in my opinion because there's two different levels the top level you have a shallow bin for all of your brushes I also put my mascaras my eyeliners anything thin and long goes into this top compartment there's an elasticized strap to keep things secure and then the bottom half is a deeper crevasse to put all of your makeup so I put my makeup on the bottom I put my brushes on top even on the plane I need to like bang out a face real quick I can just sit there and just kind of open this up like a little portfolio back and forth I, and I'm able to do my entire makeup with just this nice compact beautifully designed makeup bag I love it staying in the case department I also have these classic favorites I just want to show real quick this one I believe is a small size this is a simple singular open case this is good for just basic skincare or if you're a minimalist and just need a few key items this is a nice alternative compared to the large jumbo size. If you are needing just more like things for your pens, for your lipsticks, eyeliners, mascaras, this one is such a great shape. It's like perfectly made for those long thin items that are pen shaped or brush shaped. This one is also really great. You can kind of use this as a set if you want things more separated. And then a newbie that I got this year, this one is the mini size. This one is so great for just your tiny little essentials. What I actually use for this one is I put my AirPods in here, I put my lip balm, some mints or some cough drops, my eye drops, like I can put little mini things in here and I love it because I can see everything from the top. This one is the taupe color and actually it's not a Safiano leather, it's more of a smooth buttery leather, but I love it because again I'm trying to get into some of the taupe colors, it's very cute. Depending on the luggage I'm bringing or the things that I need to pack for a certain trip, I will use some variation of these three but typically that jumbo case is always coming with me one way or another moving on to my next favorite this is a part of their train case collection one thing I am missing from my collection is the jumbo train case the vanity size one I'm gonna get up to that one but I thought I'd try the mini case first and wow sometimes if I'm on a super minimalist like trip I'll take this for my toiletries so what I'll do is I can take a stack of four of the 56s of my cadence travel capsules and they stack perfectly into here vertically. In this container, I could stack two towers. That's eight different products stacked in there. I also love the Medicube Zero Pore Pads and Vitamin C Pads. I bought their little travel cases here, so these can stack perfectly in here. Or if you guys prefer little squeegee bottles like this, I'll get back into these in a little bit, but I actually like to put my shampoo and conditioner in these guys. I can stack those perfectly in here, and then I've got room for other essentials, and look, boom. It's it's deceiving how much volume this can carry and I love that it's just so vertically stacked it's different and it's cool because when you can put it in your suitcase it honestly covers such a small footprint for how much toiletries you can stack in here if you guys are not into something that's very train casey these are also great options these are a new set from truffle this is their vanity pouch set instead of it being predominantly Safiano leather you have the trimming of it but it's actually mostly their PVC wrapping from the front to the back and this one is their smoked kind of black collection so it's semi see-through I like that you get some more privacy on here and the size that you have is really really functional it almost reminds me of like the Koyana leather vanity cases but I do like that there is a separator here in case you want to put like your pads or anything on one side this one in particular because it's so wide you can fit like your large hair brushes you can wipe down really easily if anything spills I mean it's just an easy 
easy cleanup. It's super lightweight, but you still have those luxe details of the like soft yellow leather gusset on the sides and the zipper. Now for non-see-through options. I like that Truffle's trying to mix things up. Next up is their stowaway bag. This one is a super new release. I like that this is an option that's full privacy. This one is all nylon. You still have some soft yellow leather details. Again, everything in Truffle is so chic. It's so luxe. I feel like such a sophisticated traveler. But on the inside, you have two different pouches that comes with the overall case. You have a really nice 360 zipper, so it opens like a clamshell. You have one side that is integrated, so you have like a zippered pouch with like a back panel here, so you can organize really well. And then this one is a detachable option. So I have like some little picks for my teeth and cotton pads in here. You can remove this or keep it inside for further organization. And because everything is just so open, it's just easy to pack this and go. You can also use this as like a tech organizer. My Cadence capsules also go well in here. Like this is a nice, more traditional option for a cosmetic bag. And again, you have no one snooping on your stuff if you prefer some more privacy. Piggybacking off of that one, I also picked up their privacy pouch set. These have proven to be so useful. You have four different sizes. And what I love about these is that they're just pretty self-explanatory. This one can be great for pens or lipsticks, something that's vertical and skinny. This is good for smaller items. And these two larger ones are great because they come with a Safiano pocket in the front. So this one I put, I think like my different pills or supplements. And then this front pocket, I have like different band-aids. You can organize from the front and then on the inside, these are nice, super padded, very very luxe nylon pouches. And again, if you're more into privacy, this is a great option to organize all of your essentials. So moving on to the next item, this is their tech pouch. So here I can fit in my iPad Pro mini in here. My larger size iPad Pro, I can't fit it in here unfortunately, but this is where I can organize a lot of my tech things. I can put my Apple Pencil in here, my different cords, notebooks. Like this is a nice like portfolio organizer. And if you want, you could interchange using one of these privacy pouches in here. Here. And then this one is a new one. This is the Clarity Pouch Medium. I have the small and the large set, which is their original sizes and the sand color. But because I'm trying to incorporate more of the taupe, this is a new medium size. I like this one because sometimes I did find the small too small and the large too large. This is a great medium option. What I like about these pouches is that they can kind of stand on their own because you have that triangular like gusset on the side. So it holds a lot more volume once you plop something in there. And then again, you can use these privacy pouches in case there's anything you want to hide. Here's another example. I have so much stuff in their brand. In comparison to their flat pouches like this, these are really great for compression, for things that aren't too bulky, but if you got heavy duty things like a hairbrush or thicker bottles, this is a better fit to hold things more comfortably. I will link all of my favorites down below, which is basically the entire site, okay. <laughs> Okay, moving on to some of the more affordable travel organizational favorites. These are some great things that I think predominantly I found on Amazon. If any of the truffle stuff is like too expensive, there are great options on Amazon. So one of my favorite ones is just this really simple like TSA 311 zipper clear pouches. These are great because they are so modular and you can buy them in sets of two and three and you can actually like fully organize like this is my skincare, this is my body stuff, this is my hair stuff. And because it's like a nice wide, like two to three inches, you have a lot of great volume to stack things. And because they are just very simple and minimal, you still get that cohesive matching, you know, aesthetic look. So these are a great affordable choice. Nothing wrong with these. I love these too. Next item is actually like more of like a beauty item, but I am so obsessed with the Clean Skin Club. These essentially are like single use towels to use on your face after you wash your face. Essentially when you use like towels, you get a lot of germs, you're reusing things over and over again. These are biodegradable, really easy cloths that are so soft. I buy the extra large size and I use it kind of like two to three times. Like I just use the front in the morning and the back at night and I kind of just stretch its use. But wow, I've noticed such a big difference, especially when you're traveling, you don't know who's used a towel, if it's dirty. This is such a great option to use at home or on the go. And the Clean Skin Club has these 10 pack sizes that are great for travel. Next up are these 
these cool like ejectable plastic containers. I think I saw these on TikTok or in a shorts, but what I love is that they have this little tether here. You can attach it to the interior of your tote bag. I would kind of say this is like a great alternative to this little mini case here that I showed you guys from Truffle. How this works is that you pop out like a touch push mechanism and the container comes out for you to fill it. You can fill it again with your lip balms, lozenges, little tiny items and you still have the full transparency just like the truffle cases to see what's inside. It's also nice and sturdy because it's plastic and again it's really cool that you can kind of like organize your little doodads. And then in addition to the cadence capsules that I showed you guys earlier, I also showed you guys these. I love these because these are squeezy travel bottles, but specifically I've been getting the ones that have the suction cup in the back. So if you are traveling and you have like slick tile or glass in particular, you can just suction these onto the glass and you literally have floating suspended dispensers for your body wash, conditioner, and shampoo, which is why I specifically use these. This is a brand I got on Amazon, the Liquid Snug. This one comes with a larger and a smaller size. These little dinky ones I actually got locally at King Supers, which is kind of like Safeway. But what I really like about these Liquid Snugs in particular, they function better than those cheaper ones. They have an integrated label system. So you have like this little window and then you can spin it so that you can designate it if it's shampoo, conditioner, lotion, soap. I love these as a complement to my Cadence bottles. I just like the squeezy motion for the conditioner and the shampoo. Okay, next favorites, if you guys are in to the makeup powder puffs, it is an essential for me for my finishing powders. You guys know how yucky they get. They get so dirty. They're intermixing with all of the other eyeshadows and all the crap that's inside your makeup bag. Fear not. They have actual containers for these. Hello, I can't believe it's taking me this long to even like find these, but basically these are a perfect pizza slice shape for your powder puffs to keep them clean, keep them isolated from all the other debris that's in your makeup bag. There's also this flatter option. This is a makeup puff silicone holder. And what's cool is you can stack like one or two in there. If you've got different shapes, like this big hungry hippo, you can stack it in there and then the silicone sides compress to keep these sides protected of your powder puffs. If you guys are Touchland fans, this is some of the best hand sanitizer ever. I love the shape of this because it's so flat. The actual formula is so nice. It's not over drying. The mist is like a hyper soft, beautiful mist and the smell is amazing. So I actually got this new silicone holder for it so that I can attach it to my tote bag and keep it more accessible whenever I'm traveling. And then, oh, yes, 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 no germs, yes. <laughs> Very simple, easy, cute, girly thing there. If you guys use a traditional toothbrush on the way, I also love the Steripods. You gotta just change these out every like two, three months, but I definitely live and swear by these, especially when I'm tossing it into like the stowaway pouch and everything. If you're gonna put your toothbrush with like a bunch of other stuff, I highly recommend this to protect the bristles and keep things nice and hygienic. Cannot live without these. And last but not least, of course with organization, packing cubes are a must have. Not only to designate all the different clothes that you have, into different categories, but to keep your suitcase looking super pristine and organized throughout your trip. So the new packing cubes that I've been using outside of the base ones, those are the original ones that I've been featuring, you know, on my channel for the past year. Those are like my favorites in terms of like very modular mesh type of packing cubes. I love that those have labels so that you can interchange them and kind of label what's in each packing cube. Kind of like the faux leather detail with the handle is really nice and handy. Like very, very sturdy. I love those, but I had to try, of course, a couple of options. Truffle recently launched their packing cube set. These are so cool. This is my first like full see-through set. You have that same PVC lining, but it's on the front so you can really see what's inside. The back of it is just very simple, lightweight, traditional packing cube with a nice like three-sided zipper. These are oriented rectangularly and you have three different sizes. These I've taken, I think, on two trips. And my favorite things about these are the visibility. You can definitely see everything. I think my only gripe is I wish there was one size that was smaller than this little one where I put like my bathing suits or like my underwear. But in terms of like the bulk of my clothing, these were fantastic, very luxurious with that clear panel. And then for my heavy duty packers out there, I featured this in my last carry-on video with my Monos order. I bought these six packs 
pack of the Monos Compression Packing Cubes. This is the first time I've used compression ones. My favorite thing about this set is the variety in sizes. So again, you have this nice super small one. I can put socks, thongs, smaller items in here. Then I can put swimsuits. Like I love the organizational like capabilities with this one because you can kind of Tetris shape them within your suitcase. And how these work are really cool. So basically there's two different zippers. You would open one zipper for the actual access to the container of the packing cube. And then the second zipper is the actual compression zipper that you zip last after you pack it. So you open the packing cube, expose the entire cavity like this so you can see the entire height. Stack everything in there, close this sucker up, and then you use the secondary zipper to it eats up all of that gusset and then it compresses that modular shape of clothes into more of like a flattened oval shape. So you can put more crap in your suitcase, which who doesn't love that? Great way if like you have a trunk suitcase or a suitcase is not forgiving, the packing cubes will do half of the heavy lifting for you, baby. All right, you guys, that does it for my updated travel organizational favorites. I know they're kind of heavy on just a few brands, but I swear by them. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are interested, again, everything mentioned in this video is down below in the description box. We also have my Naywai discount if you guys are interested in checking out any of those essential lovely favorites. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for sticking through this difficult time in my life. You guys are the best, and I'm excited to see you guys soon. I love you, and see you in the next one.